What's up everybody? Welcome to Queer Girl Straight Skates. I'm Rebel and today I'm going to teach you how to do crossovers on roller skates. Straight Skates is a YouTube channel all about roller skating. So if you are learning how to roller skate or if you are a roller skater and you want some cool videos about roller skating lifestyle or tutorials or reviews, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified when I post, which is every Tuesday. So you might be wondering, what is a crossover? You are crossing one leg over the other in order to gain more momentum while you are moving. A lot of times crossovers are used in roller derby. If you play roller derby, there will be a big focus on learning crossovers in order to gain a lot of speed going around the track. If you learn how to do crossovers, it's helpful for dance skating because you're learning how to like shift your balance back and forth, you're learning how to really push and get momentum if you're going into different moves, and you're also learning how to kind of jumble up your feet a little bit and still stay on your wheels and be able to successfully pull through it. Crossovers are also just something that looks really fun and is nice to be able to do uh, when you're going around turns, when you're trail skating, anything like that. I always throw crossovers in there, not just for like the speed and momentum that they bring, but also I think that they add a little bit of flair into your skating. So without further ado, let's learn about crossovers. In this video, we are talking about forward or front crossovers. When you're doing a front crossover, what that means is that you are moving forward. For the most part, you're going to probably be doing this around a turn. So whether it's a turn to the left or turn to the right, if you try and do a crossover forward, just like straight ahead, it's going to be really difficult. But if you're doing it on a turn or a curve, that's when it's really going to give you the most bang for the buck. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start getting comfortable with doing grapevines. What a grapevine looks like is you are standing with your skates on and you can also practice this off skates if you want to practice just like the feel of the step before you put skates on. But what you're doing is you're starting with your feet next to each other and then you're taking one foot, putting it in front of the other and then stepping out and then putting that foot behind the other. So you are essentially creating a grapevine with your feet. Practicing this on skates both ways is going to be a good first step for starting crossovers. Things about the grapevine. One side is going to feel significantly more comfortable for you than the other side. When you recognize what side feels the most comfortable, that's going to be the direction that you're going to want to first start trying to do your crossovers because that is going to be easier for you. Another thing about grapevine is that you can either just do like a front over grapevine or you can do front back, front back grapevine. And depending on what you're wanting to do and your skill level, you're going to want to try all of the different ways to do it because you're going to want to feel comfortable no matter what foot is crossing over the other, especially if you're looking to learn how to cross over both directions. Once you feel pretty comfortable with doing the grapevine, what I would suggest doing is doing a moving forward, step over, step out kind of a movement. And when you're doing this, essentially what you're doing is you're practicing the getting one foot in front of the other and not losing your balance and being able to continue moving forward. If you are having an issue at this point, Something you should check in on is your level of bend in your knees. So without bending your knees, crossovers are almost impossible. You must bend your knees and bend your knees well in order to be successful at crossovers. And that goes all the way back to the grapevine. So when you're first doing the grapevine, make sure those knees are bent, make sure your 
upper body is up and not face down towards the ground, wherever our eyes and our body is facing, that's where we're gonna go. So if we're looking and body facing the ground, we're gonna end up on the ground. So let's approach going to the left first when it comes to crossovers. We want to lower our left shoulder. We want to look to our left. And what I would recommend doing is starting trying to just skate in a circle and point to the left. This will get you used to kind of leaning in to the left as you're skating and having that body position the way it needs to be when you're doing your crossovers. You can even keep using your pointed finger like this for the whole time you're practicing. It's a really good tool. So going into doing a crossover, if you're going to the left, you're gonna again position your body. Your inside leg, which is your left leg, is gonna be your originally leading foot, but it's gonna be the thing that pushes you and gives you that momentum. This is the position that you need to be in in doing the actual crossover. Your right leg is in front, your left leg is in the back pushing out all of that energy. So what that looks like in motion is your left leg starts forward, your right leg crosses over, and then your left leg pushes that energy out and then comes back again to the front. And this position right here, that's why it's called a crossover because it makes an X or a cross with your legs. Crossover with your outside foot and then push the energy out with your inside foot. Crossover with your outside foot and push the energy out. Super important to bend your knees. If you're not bending your knees, you're not gonna be able to successfully cross that outside leg over your inside leg. And the balance is really important as well. So in order to speed it up, like we're doing here, you need to make sure you have that knowledge of how you're gonna transfer your weight before you start trying to go fast, which is why I'm showing it to you in slow motion. So step, crossover, transfer the weight to that front leg, and then push out that energy with the back. When you are pushing that momentum out with your inside foot, you need to make sure to press a lot of energy into all your wheels onto the ground, ending with your outer wheels pushing up off of the ground. This is what's gonna give you the most momentum moving forward. Next up, we're doing the right side. So we're gonna bend those knees, put that right shoulder down, look to the right, and we're gonna remember the same concept, which is the inner foot, which is in this direction, your right foot is going to start out, then your left foot or your outer foot is going to cross over, and your right foot or back foot is going to push that momentum out. This is the position that you should be in. Your left foot is in the front, bent knee, your right foot is in the back, pushing out that energy. In motion, we're seeing the transfer of weight from the inner foot pushing out to the outer foot crossing over in front and then that inner foot that pushed that energy out then comes to the front and steps forward. Recognize that there's a step being taken as you push out that energy with the back foot then you're going to bring that foot forward then the crossover is happening with the outer leg. So when you're first starting, just try and get a little bit of crossover. If you're just getting a little bit and you're practicing that, you'll be able to deepen that crossover eventually. So a lot of people don't get a deep crossover right away. Another thing that you can do to get a deeper crossover is by bending your knees even more. So the more you bend your knees, the easier it's going to be to get that deeper crossover. Another issue that people tend to have is that they go to do their crossover, but then they're in the middle of a turn and they haven't shifted all of their weight to the inside leg. And so because of that, they can't pick up the outside leg in order to cross it over. So if that's the case, then something you should practice doing is practice balancing on your inside leg. So practice going on turns, just rolling through a turn, but just on your inside leg and your left or your right, depending on whichever is your outside leg, just lift that up 
and go into the turn and practicing that and getting comfortable in that space of balancing on one foot and leaning your body to one side which can be very very scary because you feel like you're gonna fall and you might fall and that's totally normal that will definitely help you another issue that people tend to have is people will sometimes when you are wearing like knee pads especially wearing thick knee pads like in roller derby, I would always wear the thickest knee pads because I fell on my knees all the time. Don't do that, but I fell on my knees all the time and so I would just wear really thick knee pads to compensate for that. But because I was wearing really thick knee pads, it was harder for me to do crossovers because my knee pad would literally get in the way of my other leg crossing over. And I thought that I would just never be able to cross over because of my knee pads. But the reality of the situation was I just needed to get stronger in my squatting position, which totally sucks to hear, but I just needed to be able to bend my knees more and get down into a deeper squat in order to be able to actually cross my legs over each other. If you're in a situation where you feel like either your knee pads or like your legs are too fat, like your thighs are getting in the way, or something in your body and your legs, like you're not able to physically cross one leg over the other or under the other, what I would recommend is bending your knees way deeper than you ever could have imagined that you would have needed to bend your knees. And that will help. Another troubleshooting issue. So when I first started doing crossovers, I was doing the crossover, but because I wasn't actually push off and give power with my back leg once I already crossed over with my front leg, I was just kind of doing this like crossover dance where I was just like crossing over my legs and then the front and then I'd cross over my leg again and then, but I wasn't getting any more momentum than I would if I was just regular striding. So if that is an issue that's happening to you, like if you are doing crossovers but you're not getting any more momentum and you have to do a bunch of crossovers in order to get any distance of space, then you might be transferring all your weight to the crossover leg too quickly and not using that back foot as actually like a push off. Like you have to think about throwing energy into the ground in order to thrust you forward. So your crossover in the back isn't just a, great, I crossed over, now I'm gonna pull that other foot forward. It's, I cross over with my outside leg and then my inside leg has the job of pushing to the side, not to the back in order to get that momentum and push us forward. When you're doing a crossover, crossovers are designed to be able to do less movements and get you further. So if I was to do crossovers around a rink, I would be able to do, for what might take me 20 strides, I should be able to do like eight crossovers. Now that's not a specific number, but just giving you an idea of how much momentum you're getting just by doing a crossover as opposed to doing a stride. So now you are well equipped to try crossovers. What I want to remind you is that crossovers take time to learn. Crossovers are not easy. Crossovers are a more intermediate skill level and if you want to do them you definitely can but don't get discouraged if you aren't able to do it right away because crossovers not only take skill but they also take strength and it takes a little bit of flexibility to be able to do that actual crossover and if you can only do a little bit of a crossover to begin with start there and keep practicing and you will eventually get it now, if you are a little bit more of an advanced skater or if you've started practicing crossovers and you're struggling with getting that depth and that balance into your crossovers because balance and depth to crossovers are something that makes 
your crossover better and it makes it more effective like it's actually going to give you that momentum moving forward as opposed to just jumbling your feet underneath you one thing that you can practice is something called the drunken sailor now the drunken sailor is a skate move that really really works on your balance so what you're going to be doing and this is by no means a requirement in order to do crossovers this is simply an advanced practice technique if you want to enhance your crossovers but what you're going to do is you're going to skate forward on one foot and then you'll throw your other leg out and then you'll put it in front but cross it over as much as you can and then you'll swing out the other foot and cross it over as much as you can and the reason why it's called a drunken sailor is because you actually look like you're drunk and on a ship so you are trying to like maneuver your way through this move and your goal is to stay as balanced as you can but also go in as deep as a of a crossover as you can but also stay on that one foot and then on the other one and then on the other foot so that's an advanced practice technique for crossovers crossovers are awesome let me know how you're doing with your crossovers or any questions or issues that you encountered down in the comments below and i will do my best to help you out the best thing that you can possibly do is to practice 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 all the time if your thighs are burning if your quads are on fire you're doing it right if you are feeling like jumbled at first, that is totally natural and very normal for you to trip yourself all over the place. And it is also natural if you realize like, oh man, I need to loosen my trucks a little bit or I need to adjust the way my skates are fitting in order to be more effective at crossovers that is another thing but also beware that not every person is going to prefer looser or tighter trucks for certain moves and these are just personal preference tips pieces of advice that i have to give to you good luck on doing your crossovers i know you're gonna kill it i can't wait to hear all about it thanks so much for watching this episode of queer girl straight skates don't forget to like comment and subscribe because i got new videos coming at you every week with exciting content that is helpful for you as a roller skater moving forward or just fun for you to watch as a roller skater or future roller skater if you want to support me or support this channel one way you can do that is by going to www.cheerstothequeers.com and shopping on my shop there are lots of roller skating accessories and also just other cute accessories if you need laces if you need socks it's all there and getting stuff from there actually helps to make this channel continue to run so i really appreciate it when you buy from that shop also if you want to see a backwards crossover tutorial one of those are coming out very soon so keep your eye out for them if you're a little bit more advanced of a skater and most importantly cheers to the queers <laughs>